Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a wellness check on Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez. Yeah, we don't often do readings on people in tech. Let's do it. So WSJ, recently did an interview with Lauren Sanchez and I have to say she's a very intriguing person just because like you know she's just so extroverted and she was the mistress or maybe she wasn't even the mistress I mean Jeff Bezos was married to Mackenzie Scott for like 26 years meanwhile Lauren Sanchez was married to Patrick Whitesell for like 13 years yeah for like 14 years. Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez carry on an affair. I don't know for how long. I don't even know how they met. I know very little details about it. They're carrying on an affair. They're outed and then like, they're like, yeah, we're gonna get divorces because we're in love. And then Lauren Sanchez manages to like nail down like one of the biggest billionaires of our time. And, and she's just like, yeah, whatever, baby, let's do this. Put it out in the open and we are now partners and we're co-parenting our blended family of what have you. So, I mean, I, I'm fine with that. And she seems very friendly. She seems like she'd be someone, you know, very engaging to speak with at a party. Um, she also seems very unapologetic about various aspects of her life. So basically this is a story of like two married people who went and they had affairs with each other. They were outed and then they left their respective partners. And their respective partners have fared well. So both respective partners, you know, are well-to-do people and I think they both did very well in their divorces. So Lauren Sanchez, who is a Sagittarius with a Taurus moon, she was married to an Aquarius guy, Patrick Whitesell, who's one of the heads of WME, William Morris Endeavor. So after he was cuckolded by a man, you know, far less attractive than him, Google Patrick Whitesell, he's, he's hot. He has now run off with uh, Pia Miller. She is very young. Uh, she is younger than Lauren Sanchez and she's like an Aust she's some sort of hot Latina model. She's hot. She's a hot Hispanic or Latina model. So they ran off together. They're married. They're doing great. Um, Jeff Bezos's jilted wife, Mackenzie Scott, has recently married a Seattle public school teacher. Great. I'm sure he's a very stable guy. It doesn't surprise me that she would marry someone like very low key after being with Jeff Bezos, who's like, you know, Zeus for all we for all intents and purposes. So that's fine. Uh, Mackenzie Scott was in Aries. So she's now with a guy, well, we don't even know his sign. It's not even available on the internet, so I'm just sure they're very happy. And for the record, Jeff Bezos, he's a Capricorn sun with an Aries rising and a Sagittarius moon. So he's now with a woman who's a Sagittarius sun. So his emotional center is in Sag. This is, this is, this is, these are very fiery, passionate places, but these are also places where they're like, we gotta do us. I gotta go do me. Like that's very, very sort of like, I gotta go do my own thing and not be beholden to people and just really, really do me. Now that said, a Capricorn sun man, a man who's a Capricorn sun, that is a very committed man. You know, that's a Saturn world sign. Hence he was married for so long, you know, to Mackenzie Scott. You know, that was like an over 25 year marriage. So Capricorns, you know, from my experience are not cheaters and they're usually very devoted to their partners, even if it's just in a dutiful fashion. So essentially, Jeff Bezos traded out one fire sign woman for another fire sign woman. So he basically likes fire sign women. We can conclude that. What would be the difference between an Aries woman versus a Sagittarius woman? He probably had uh, more uh, clashes with his first wife because he's got that Aries rising, you know, Capricorn people, they're bossy. Aries people can be bossy. She's probably bossy, Mackenzie Scott. Lauren Sanchez would probably like get out of the way a bit more, like voice her opinions, but a Sag woman is just like, they're chiller. You know, they're kind of like, all right, I'm gonna go over here, do my own thing. You do your own thing over here. We'll meet back later. Like that's kind of more the vibe with a Sag woman. So yeah, she makes the marriage. Oh, they're not married. They're just girlfriend and boyfriend. I get it. So they make everything sound pretty happy and peaceful. So let's see if it is. Okay, so Lauren. Jeff, Lauren, Jeff, helping or hurting the situation, and what is the bottom line about these two? Where's the energy heading? Okay, so Lauren's external vibe towards Jeff Bezos. Oh, okay. 
Huh, that's interesting. So we got the Fool in reverse. So the Fool is a card of optimism, taking the first leap, you know, not having cold feet, just, you know, embarking on a journey with someone and knowing it's going to be okay. So why on earth would this card come up in reverse for Lauren Sanchez and her feelings towards uh, Jeff Bezos? Um, it, it may have to do with the fact that, like, probably maybe neither of them wants to get remarried. Um, it may have something to do with the fact that she's just like, let's just keep things as they are. So it's, it's a card that signals like not wanting to go any further than where one is right now when this, when this card shows up in reverse. So however things are right now, like she's very happy about it is what I can conclude from this. And that, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the vibe from a card like this. Um, it could also suggest there's some sort of hesitancy about changing things. Okay, so Jeff Bezos's, Jeff's external vibe towards Lauren. Interesting. Okay, so Ace of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so this is a weird card. We don't get it a lot. Ace of Swords in Reverse would suggest upright. This is a card of mind over matter. This is a card of like you are transcending your circumstances. And it can be the flush of a new idea. It can be the flush of inspiration. You know, the mind cutting through the clouds and you know, and the nebulous BS and sort of you know the spark of, you know, some opportunity. So in reverse, this is a card of like, no, it, it can sometimes mean just like finding out negative information about someone and like you're being sort of like deadened back to earth. Or it can be just sort of like an emotional reactivity or something happening in secret. The, it's weird because these two cards do underscore each other because it suggests like a hesitancy, some sort of static towards the other person, towards like the beginning of something with another person. And it may just be like a, about like putting a ring on this, you know, like that's what these two cards kind of represent, like changing things. Like these are both cards which suggest beginnings and they both are coming up in reverse. Okay, so Lauren's internal vibe towards Jeff. <sighs> Another reversal weird 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 okay so ace of wands in reverse it's just weird when we have this like article about how happy they are and then we get all these reversals so ace of wands is a card of you know these this is a card of beginnings the match striking the side of the box and that first spark of an idea or an adventure or a path a journey so in reverse it's like that's either happening very very slowly or it's happening in secret so again what we're getting here more hesitancy about something about getting married is that what it is guys just keep co-parenting your kids and like and be girlfriend and boyfriend there's something going on okay so jeff's internal vibe towards lauren oh okay well this is weird <laughs> This is such a weird... Okay, so we got our first upright card, Ace of Pentacles. So he feels she's a gift. Um, this could mean that he wants to give her an engagement ring. This could just mean that, like, he it, behind closed doors, he views her as just, like, you know, this special three-dimensional creature in his life. You know, the promise of something, the beginning of something, you know, from the universe that he can see and feel and touch. So this is interesting. So he does view her as a treasure... But they're both getting cards of hesitancy regarding beginnings. And it may just be like, you know, this is like a second major relationship for the two of them. And people sometimes get gun shy about marriage after they've been married, right? They're like, well, I've been married. I did that. I remember that intimately. Okay, so what is it helping or hurting the situation? Okay, all right. So Knight of Wands in reverse. So this is the healthiest expression of the knights. So if this is coming up for Jeff, which it is, that's interesting. I, you'd think he'd be portrayed as a king, but the guides are showing him as a knight, suggesting that there still might be some sort of emotional immaturity with him, which makes perfect sense because these techie guys are often like very, very smart, but sometimes they're very immature in matters of the heart. So this is, you know, the man, the upright, this is the young man with a plan. Let's all chip in a dollar and we can all make a rabbit farm for the senior citizens or whatever, right? So when this card comes up in reverse, this man is not moving the energy forward, okay? He's, like, going back, um, or he's stalling, there's static, or he's destabilized. So anything that's not moving the relationship forward, the guides are calling him out on it. They're like, the issue of them not being married has more to do with him, is what they're saying. And so where's the energy heading? What is the bottom line? 
Oh, I mean, yeah, like, okay, so I doubt we're going to see any major changes anytime soon. So we've got the Two of Pentacles upright. So this is like juggling two opposing forces with the stormy sea behind you, and you're just kind of like, oh, trying to bring opposing things into balance. So not a huge happily ever after card, right? But... <sighs> But the person is doing it. They, they're, they're juggling the two pentacles. They're not dropping them. So basically, that's what they're doing right now. Juggling two different households and kids and exes and, you know, life obligations is what they're saying here. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. Did you read the WSJ article? I'll link it in the description because it is highly, highly entertaining. And, you know, sometimes people paint this rosy, rosy picture of their domestic life when things in real life have more static. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And as always, we'll do this again.